Okay, welcome back. So today we're going to do a video on the PlayStation and getting it set up from start to finish for streaming. Um, disclaimer, this is not going to be a short video. I will break it up into chapters in the description below. So that being said, let's get started. Okay, so starting this video off, you are going to need a few things, obviously. We're going to need a PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Uh, you can do this stuff on other consoles, but uh, I'm going to change it a little bit, and we're not doing those consoles. Now we're just doing a PlayStation. So, PlayStation, you'll need something to capture the video with. Uh, capture card, Aver Media, Elgato, one of the budget ones. We'll get into that when we get into the video. Uh, you also need some audio devices. Headset with microphone, preferably for this video, so we can get into a little bit of granular detail once we get to audio. And then uh, an external microphone be it USB microphone or an XLR. XLR, obviously you need an XLR interface, and then obviously your computer, uh, OBS, and maybe some other programs that we'll, we'll, we'll talk about once we get to that part. So list is right here, all of this stuff. So that being said, uh, we're gonna grab a PlayStation and all of the things and we'll get started. Okay, so we'll, we'll start off with video. So with the PlayStation, you are gonna need to capture your video. You can do it with a capture card, which I'm going to show you right now. We've got three capture cards here for you. We've got the Elgato 4KX, and you can get one of the ones that's 1080, but this is the 4KX. And what you'll have right here is two HDMI ports, one HDMI in, one HDMI out, and then a connection to your PC. On the front, you have a cable for the chat link, so you can plug that in. And we'll get into that when we, when we get to audio. You also have the Avermedia, same thing, input, output, USB, and this one's got two 3.5 millimeter jacks for you, one for your chat and one for your microphone, for your headset. It's a little bit different. Again, we'll get into that audio. And then you've got the budget one. Same thing as the Aver Media. You've got your USB, your microphone, and your headset, and then your HDMI in and HDMI out. And I'll link all these in the description if you wanted to take a look at them. Once you get those, or you have those, you need to have something to capture this with. You can use the... Aver Media, Elgato, or if you're using the budget one, you, you really just don't have that. Um, but you'll need a, something to capture the, the video with, and that's where OBS comes in. There are many different programs uh, that you can do this with. I'm going to go over OBS because the other ones are not to the level of, of this, with the ex exception of Streamlabs Desktop. Um, but they tend to get updates and, and features after OBS gets them. Plus, there's a huge uh, open source community with this. So website is right here. You can go into the description below and go to the link, and it'll take you straight to the link with OBS. Choose your operating system, download it, and install it. Once you download and install it, this is the blank canvas you will get at the beginning. Uh, you have several different things. I'm not going to go into depth on OBS and, and stuff like that. And I've got other videos on that. But the primary place that you need to be worried about right now is scenes and sources with regards to the PlayStation. Your audio is right here and you've got some extra settings uh, that you can mess with right here. We, we won't worry about those right now. We'll worry about those once we get to the actual streaming part after everything is set up. So OBS. Now, once we have all of this stuff set up, we can actually plug in the PlayStation. So let's do that. Okay. So for simplicity's sake, we are going to plug in the budget capture card. Again, it is this one. So we'll go ahead and hook this one up to my computer. We're going to plug it in to the USB 3. And then we'll take the PlayStation. HDMI cable right here. And we're going to plug this into the input. So the input right here. Like that. Power. HDMI in. And this goes the same across any of these other capture cards. So we'll get that, and then we'll pull the video into OBS. All right, so now that we've got all of that stuff hooked up, PlayStation, capture card, hooked up to your PC, we need to grab video. And to do that, we're gonna go into OBS and we're gonna create a new scene. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna name these anything special. We're just gonna name it scene. You can name it whatever you want. And then we're gonna add a new source. For the source, we want to go down to Video Capture Device, 
and click OK. And inside of the video capture device, where it says device right here, is where your devices will show up. Mine being the budget one that I'm using right now is the USB 3.0 video. If you hooked up an Elgato, same thing. It would say the Elgato 4KX or Elgato, whatever the case may be, for Avermedia, it would show up as Avermedia. So we're going to go ahead and click OK for the video. And it goes to the device default. You can just leave all this stuff alone right now. We'll get into this more in, in a bit when we get to audio and, and some customizations that you want to do for this. We're going to click OK. Now you're going to make the screen bigger. There's two ways to do this. You can drag it. Make sure it's highlighted red. You can drag it. Or you can right click, go down to transform, and fit to screen. And now we've got the PlayStation. We've got video. Now if we go into the PlayStation and we start messing around with stuff, you'll notice that we don't really have any audio. So that will be the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at audio. Okay, so here we are. we got a game loaded up on the PlayStation, obviously Castlevania. And we're going to try to see if this thing reacts to any kind of audio. So we go in here, and I know from playing this game before that if you start a game, there is supposed to be some audio. We're not hearing any kind of audio right now. Uh, but we're going to fix that. So for the PlayStation 1, we have to go into our sound settings, and we've got our output set to HDMI, so it should be coming through. But it's not. So to do that, we're going to go over here to our video capture device, and we're going to right-click, and we're going to go to Properties. And we're going to scroll down here to where it says Audio Output Mode. Right now, by default, it says Capture Audio Only. So it's not, it's not outputting anything. It's just capturing the audio. Now you can do Output Desktop Audio Direct Sound or Output Audio Wave Wave Out. These are using Windows Audios. We're going to use the audio on our, on our PC. We're going to use a custom audio device. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see from OBS right here, we got some audio going on. Now, you can't hear it in this video right now because I haven't pushed it over to my other computer. So I'm recording this on two different PCs. But as you can see, it's got audio coming through. Okay, so we've got no audio coming out, so we need to fix that. And when I do this, you'll start hearing it come through my roadcaster. So we never changed this, so we'll have to change this first, and it should, it should, uh, you should start hearing it. So we'll say output desktop audio to wave out is probably the better one. You can do direct sound if you want. And it starts pushing that sound out through your, your desktop. Obviously, you can hear it right now. turn that down a little bit capture only and and it goes away if you take that away okay so we've got video and we've got audio on our playstation our streaming stuff um now here's where we run into a couple of issues playstation uses party chat and it doesn't work very well with regards to transferring audio over to streaming setup if you're using party chat you have to get things uh like the chat link on the Elgato capture card. And it's this horrendous device right here that you have to take and plug into your controller. The bottom, you have to plug it into that, and you have to plug it into your headset, and then you have to plug it into the front of the, the capture card. And what it does is it transfers your party chat audio and it allows it to be heard through the PlayStation. What it doesn't do is it doesn't allow your voice to be heard through the PlayStation. So your friends and, and, and the party chat people may be able to hear you, but if you're streaming, uh, your voice is not going to come through to the stream. For that, on Elgato's own website, it says you need a secondary microphone. So you would use something like... <clears throat> A Blue Yeti or a USB microphone or an XLR microphone something other on your computer that would allow your 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 viewers or whatever to hear your voice coming through on your stream and to do that you'd get all this stuff set up like this and then you would go into 
OBS and you would click add, add input capture. And then from there, you would add one of your input devices. Uh, so like mic in your Elgato, XLR mic, if you have, if you have that. A line in audio. If you have a USB microphone, it will show up right here. Um, I could choose the digital audio interface right here uh, because it's got a audio in or a microphone in for the 3.5 millimeter jack on the back of it. So you could do it that way. That way you would be able to control your audio inside of OBS. Now we've got audio, we've got video, and we've got another audio source for your voice. Uh, the the better way to, the better way to do this would be to use Discord. Uh, there's integration for the PlayStation for Discord. You don't have to worry about the, the secondary mic. You can get all your friends on there. Uh, you would just need to plug a microphone into your PC. You're going to be using it anyway for a streaming or whatever. Just plug your microphone into your PC and then use Discord as your party chat. All your friends can drop in there. It's easier. You don't have to work with two microphones and, and, and dealing with that all that stuff. I will say from a from the standpoint of more cables, if we're looking at capture cards, there is a big difference between the Aver Media and the Elgato when it comes to I.O. Both of them have a USB 3. With regards to uh, resolution, this is the both of these are 2.1 or HDMI 2.1. So they're relatively equal in that sense. The difference is, is on the front of the Elgato, you have this, and you have to use the chat link to get it to work. Uh, and, and then your voice doesn't come through, so you can't talk and, and hear, have your voice heard on OBS or your streaming without a secondary microphone. That is not the case with the Aver Media or the budget one I just showed you. This one has a chat link right here you can hook up with a 3.5 millimeter cable from your controller and then it's got a headset in that allows you to talk using your headset's microphone so with regards to usability or, or or chat or audio features this one's a little bit better than this one and they're both relatively evenly priced but that's just my little rant on which one of these are better and the little budget one that that i have hooked up right now which was like 34 dollars uh does the same thing as the Aver Media. It's got those same two ports. And then, if we're talking about the Elgato, uh, you're going to run into echoing issues. And nobody likes those, and I get a lot of questions about the echoing issues. And even even Elgato's own forums and stuff like that, if you read Reddit, or uh, just go into their FAQs and stuff like that, there is no new, there is no fix for this. I've tried this several times with the PlayStation 5, and I can't seem to figure out a way to get rid of the Echo. You could get rid of the Echo on the PlayStation uh, 4, or you can get rid of the Echo with a PlayStation 4 controller on the PlayStation 5. My personal opinion is it has something to do with the fact that this has a microphone on it. I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what they did differently with this, but with regards to the echoing issue with the PlayStation 5, I would say to eliminate that all all the way around would be to change from the party chat uh, which doesn't really i mean discord is a much better service the audio is better uh it just is i would say just move to that instead of using playstation or the uh, or the party chat if you want to do that if you want to use the party chat and you want a one a one device solution that allows you to have one microphone for your PC and your PlayStation all at the same time. The, the 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 best and only option out there right now, the best option, because it allows for bi-directional audio, it'll send your mic to both your PlayStation and your computer at the same time, is the Beacon Studio. This allows you to hook your PlayStation up and your PC up to this device at once, and you can use your XLR mic for both devices and you can bring in sound from, from both devices and route them to OBS accordingly. A little bit of a, a, a higher price device, but it does do some things that, that the other stuff doesn't do, or, or you don't need extra for. The, the only problem with that one is, is it does require an XLR mic. So if you have a USB mic, um, you can't use that. So plus and minuses with everything, right? For those of you that want to check out the Beacon Studio, I did 
make a video on that. I'll link that up there in the corner. If you need any other assistance outside of getting this hooked up, uh, I do have a Discord that you can go into, jump in. I try to help as, as much as I can um, with getting and doing the Discord stuff and doing my, my actual day job. So uh, if I don't get back to you right away, I'm busy or or I'll, I'll get back to you as, as I, soon as I possibly can. Anyway, uh, hope the video was helpful. If there are any other questions, uh, put them in the comment section below. And if you guys liked the video, helped you in any way, you know, that like, subscribe, notification things, it does help the channel and, and help push the video out. So that being said, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.